Jake Paul versus Ben Askren in the boxing expedition. This is my post-fight analysis. Damn, dog. So the Triller events, they're neat. I like them. I think that they're fun. I like that they do these weird matchups that like matchups that people don't expect and then they all of a sudden it manifests into reality and then bam this spectacle happens i think that those are really cool and i think in the future it's going to get even more and more interesting i like that about that but why do they make it like its own thing like it's pure entertainment it like kills it there's no like competitive uh real competition side to it it's like just obviously all about the entertainment. They got Justin Bieber putting everybody to sleep up there. They got these mumble rappers leaving everybody confused of what the hell that just happened. It's boring. Um, stop with the whole performances and, and all this is sucks, dude. Like, just make it about the fights. And then number two, like, what what's up with this tiny boxing ring? Like, they got this tiny boxing ring at the kid's toy store down the street and they put it in the middle of the arena and they put these two guys in there, these two, two big guys in this tiny little boxing ring, purely just for entertainment because it changes the whole dynamic of the game. It wouldn't be a bad thing. Actually, the smaller ring is actually kind of cool if the rules were the same as actual boxing rules. Like, you're allowed to clinch up and wrap up for a certain amount of time and work in some dirty boxing and hit him in the body, hit him in the head, wrap him up, manhandle them. That's what Ben's game plan should have been, and I think it was. Ben, as soon as he grabbed Jake Paul, the referee split them up. Why would you break him up so fast? Like, in two seconds, as soon as they wrapped up, he was like, oh, good, good. It's like the referee was Jake Paul's grandpa or something. It was like, oh, enough of that shit. No, 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 no. Don't wrap up my grandson. All right, split him up. All right, grandson, punch him in the head, right? Like it threw off Ben's whole game plan, obviously, because he couldn't even wrap him. Uh, what else? Jake Paul can box. I ain't gonna lie about that. I ain't gonna lie about that. My man can box. He got good stance. He he does everything right. He works the body. He works his jab. He, he looks good out there. He looks good. At least he doesn't look like he's never done it in a day of his life like my man Ben. And it's not to take anything away from Ben. Ben is a great fighter. Ben can fight, for sure he can fight. He has a spirit of a warrior. He'll go in there, he'll go into battle. And he did his work. He went out to the best coaches. He had Tyron Woodley in his corner. He went out to Freddie Roach. Who knows all the other trainers that probably he trained with him. And where the hell did any of their training come in? When? You guys tell me. You guys break it down and show me where their training kicked in for Ben. It's like they left Ben hanging out there. They threw him into the wolves. They were like, yeah, yeah, hit the pads a little bit, Ben. Yeah, keep your hands up and put it straight. Yeah, there you go, Ben. That's how you do it. Like, my man did not know. He looked like he just went in there and he had no idea about the sport of boxing. Like, he had no idea about the concepts or the traps, the techniques, the footwork, the stances. Nothing. My man was just in there like... Like, they just took him out of the stand and said, put some boxing gloves on, champ, and go out there. For example, he's training with the best, the best boxing coaches in the world. How come Ben didn't ever do a shield? Huh? You guys seen this one before? Like, if somebody threw a hook, what do you do? You're going to go like this? Or you're going to go like this? Simple, basic. Day one in boxing. Boxing 101. Rolls under the string. Slipping, um, covering. What? He didn't do any of that. He came in like he was from freaking 1930s, like a freaking soldier with his head wide open. Think, think, think. Getting whacked in the head like a freaking pinball machine. Of course he's going to get knocked down. His stance was horrible. Look at his stance. My man, if I, dude, if I, was his, if I was his coach, I would have said, man, get in that wrestling stance. Move that head around. Pump fake him, you know? He throws a hook, cover it. He throws this, roll underneath him, come up with the overhand, hard. Nothing like that. Dude, my dude didn't have any plan. My man just went in there, bing, 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 fell on the floor, got up. He was fine. The referee's like, can you still go? He's like, yeah, I can still go. And the referee's like, no, you're not going to go. And then calls the fight off. The fight's over. What? 
that one little punch, one little punch, knocked him to the ground. He gets back up. He's straight. He's standing up. The referee calls it off. It's done. See, that's even shady right there. It's like it was obviously meant to, like, favor Jake more. That was strange. Like, he, he could have kept going. But thank God he didn't keep going because he probably would have kept getting dropped and dropped and dropped because my man had no defense. His freaking trainers left my man hanging. Left Ben Askren hanging. His trainers suck. It's true. Yeah. So my whole thing is, yeah, Jake can box. Jake can throw hands. Jake is good under the whole Triller uh, event concept. Like their rules and their whole thing. If it was an actual boxing event, an actual boxing match, it will change the whole dynamic of it completely. Trust me on this. And then when it comes to Ben, um, his trainers left him hanging. His trainers didn't train him properly for sure. My man had no defense whatsoever. He didn't show any sign of defense. He didn't show any sign of offense. I think Triller needs to continue doing the same thing that they're doing. The concept of these weird matchups and everything, it's cool, but you know, throw in some rock and roll music every once in a while, huh? What's up with these mumble rappers? My God, I'm falling asleep over here. The performers can, can be a little bit better. That's just my opinion. But as far as like the boxing side of it, the ring needs to get bigger and the rules need to actually be real rules. It needs to be real judges and make it a real boxing event. And then it will be a lot more interesting on the competitive side of it. So that's just my honest recap of everything. And if you guys like these videos and want me to do more. What the fuck? Anyways, that's just my honest recap. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you on the next fight.